Today, I'll be presenting on the use of household items to teach basic surgical skills in an online format. My supervisor is Professor Jackie van Beek. So all teaching and learning of final year surgery students transition to the online teaching platform due to restrictions posed by COVID-19 over the last two years. Routine student evaluations were conducted of student experiences on the online course. Their main complaint related to the perceived gaps in acquiring basic surgical skills. To address this immediate gap, an online knot tying skill exercise was introduced. So this study formed part of a second cycle in an action research study that explored and monitored students' learning during the transition to the online platform. And the main objectives were to explore their perceptions of the knot tying skill video demonstration, their self-paced practice of the skill over the four week surgical rotation and subsequent asynchronous transfer of the knot tying skill to the authentic clinical setting. So at the beginning of the block, students volunteered to participate in the exercise and a sign up, a Microsoft form sign up sheet was used to facilitate this. So students based both centrally in Durban and on the decentralized platforms were encouraged to participate. So this is around um, 40 to 55 students uh, each time. The Flipgrid software application was used to upload a video that demonstrated the skill. So Flipgrid is an online video discussion platform designed to empower learners and facilitate collaboration and social learning between students. The user interface is intuitive and functions like many other video-based social media platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, and Snapchat. In a live Zoom session, students were briefed on the requirements. They were instructed to view the recording that was available on Flipgrid as well as on Moodle or Learn 2022 online platform. The related online content, content such as a final, uh, an image of the final end product of the knot, the reef knot, uh, and also a step-by-step -step guide. Um, they were encouraged to practice the skill at home using items that were readily available. So they obviously shouldn't go and invest in special suture material or instruments. So piece of string, rope, a cell phone charger cable, using the armrest of a chair as a prop or a door handle as a prop. Uh, students had to then record with or without narration of their attempts in a short video response and upload it to Flipgrid. Completed attempts were scored according to an objective OSATS validated tool, and this is an image of the final um, end product. They then completed a 14 item online survey that explored ease of using Flipgrid for learning and the confidence in self practice of the knot tying skill. So 48 students volunteered to participate and eventually 25 students or half of them uh, submitted videos uh, on Flipgrid together with the with um, online survey. So students had the necessary equipment to perform the skill at home. So cost effectiveness, um, most access Flipgrid from their smartphones and the remainder using their laptops or tablets. Um, majority found the application easy to use and download and were able to follow the steps in the video demonstration. And it's encouraging that 88% of students express confidence in their ability to perform the skill independently. The mean number of times needed to practice before um, submitting their attempts was around seven times. And using the adapted OSATS tool, a maximum score of 21 points was possible for each attempt. And mean scores obtained were around 19. So as shown in the scoring tool, each of these steps um, was scored. So this is an example or a screenshot of the Flipgrid interface. And 
Uh, as you can see on the upper corner here is the actual video um, of one of our colleagues performing the skill, uh, a short instruction. Um, once they were ready, they could click on this to submit their, their response, so either a live video or they, uh, they could upload a pre-recorded video. So basically, um, this is the grid type of interface for each exercise um, that the instructor, instructor can create on Flipgrid. And once created, a unique link is shared with the students, which encourages them or prompts them to download um, the software or access um, the website and the interface uh, using their Microsoft email accounts. Um, and once they're in, uh, they're able to view their other peers and colleagues and their attempts. Um, they can like, comment on them. It also allows the instructor to comment and give immediate feedback uh, when, and the students um, get an email uh, once there's any activity on, on the uh, video re uh, responses. So that's useful and closes the learning loop for each student. So this is a demonstration of one of our students who uh, submitted their videos on Flipgrid. So you can see he's using a piece of string, uh, a broom handle as a prop, and then the way he moves his hands and each step is then um, scored using the OSATS tool. And this is the final product, which is the reef knot. Challenges expressed by students regarding the asynchronous nature of learning the skill independently were the needs for hand, need for hands-on assistance, in-person training and feedback. Suggestions offered to improve their learning were slow motion effects on the video demonstration, being able to pair up with fellow students to practice and video each other performing the skill, introducing surgical skills earlier in their training, for example, in the fourth year, and practicing the skill under supervision or in a group setting. So most were happy that these um, skills videos are available on Flipgrid or on the Moodle online platform, but they would have liked to come in in smaller groups to practice with their peers, um, get supervision and feedback before taking it um, to the clinical setting. Access, so in conclusion, access to surgical wards to train medical students during COVID-19 was restricted. Basic knot tying can be taught with acceptable efficiency and student satisfaction using online methods with items available at home. So this is cost effective uh, for both us and the, and the student. Um, and other basic skills using uh, including suturing, wound care, and biopsy techniques also lend itself to be learned or reinforced during, using the online format. So in summary, um, this exercise can be thought of as a pilot endeavor that we hope to um, you know, maintain some of the online aspects and then implement them uh, going forward uh, once we have the available resources um, and yeah, and capability to offer this on a larger scale. Um, thank you. I would like to uh, acknowledge my supervisor, Professor Jackie Van Beek for her guidance, our ex-head of department, Professor Singh, um, for his insight and valuable input, as well as my colleagues, uh, Mr. Esme Wakino and Mr. Maheshwa Naidu uh, for the actual video demonstration and video editing. Um, once again, thank you very much for your attention and I'm happy to take any questions.